And, and it's funny because the podcasting world is the new wild west frontier where somebody yeah. that wants to have a show can have a show and then it's just out there. And if it's good, people will flock to it. And, and I, that's, that's the way to, to make a living at it or, or do whatever you want to do All right, for this thing. Will there be a, a video component to this or just audio? Both. We, we do both. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we put it on like YouTube. Um, I mean, I would say 90, 90, five percent of our, our our listeners not not viewing it but there's still that few that that watch it and watch the clips yeah. and that whatnot very cool yeah. very good uh you know and that's another thing that's different about radio right like radio never who was the first person to put radio as television was it howard stern was he the first one to like really it's when the e when the e network started doing the stern show in the mid 90s it absolutely was. It was revolutionary because people said that it had to be either all one thing or all the other, that radio was its own destination. You didn't need to muck up the works or confuse people by bringing TV cameras in. And if it's a TV show, it needs to be totally devoted to the trappings of television. And as with a hundred other things, Howard proved that was uh, not necessarily <laughs> the case. <laughs> yeah that's uh absolutely true yeah i love that yeah what an interesting because what made it interesting was the fly on the wall component to the to the camera angle right. right it was like i'm not they're not piece to cameras they're not we're not doing a show i i, I love it and now you're right now look at uh what it is it's what everybody does um and, I, and now we all do it exactly right because yeah. I, I i don't have a, a daily camera in here and I kind of thank God for that because I, I, <laughs> I guess I just don't need to play to a camera every day. I've done this for a long time. But when I do fill-ins for the Salem Radio Network, they have a video component to everything. So I put, I have, I run, I, here's, here's, there's the camera. Yeah. I set the thing up and uh, just point it at me. And then it's, uh, people can watch it as well as listen to it because that's just what everybody needs to do these days, they say. So anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's an it's just an interesting time uh, with the way all the mediums are and how it gets to people. Right now, there's just so many different streams to get information, and and if, and if you have a show or whatever a production, you're thinking of all the different ways you can get it out on different platforms as well. When absolutely. it used to be very uniformed and singular, uh, almost to, to some extent. So. I find it fascinating, but also overwhelming to some extent. <laughs> those are not mutually exclusive. So exactly right. So, cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, good. Well, uh, what uh, what could, what uh, what describe what you envision here today? This is it. Just us talking. We we just have conversations. This is the this is the podcast right here. I do a little editing to the show, just sort of taking out, you know, knolls in the in the show, things yeah. like that. Uh, great. But but other than that, it just this I will is it. go. I'll go wherever wherever you seek to go. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know if you ever listened to Joe Rogan at all. Sure. Boom. There you go. It's just three, two, one, go. That's it. We already that's started, the Mark. Best, that's that, the best. That's, that's <laughs> exactly right. If you're asking what we're doing, guess what? We've been doing it for 10 minutes, which is which is exactly the natural, unaffected uh, way to do it. Because there's there's a theory that says something is affected by the fact that people know that they're being observed, by the, by the, the knowledge that... People know that 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 the the process of a conversation is under scrutiny. It changes the nature of the conversation. I think that's unavoidably true. And the best way to do that, as either host or guest, is to plow through that and be as unaffected and as organically natural as you can. Oh, that's awesome! Oh my God, I'm gonna learn so much today, Mark. This is like <laughs> well, I'm let's, so let's excited. Not, let's not go nuts. <laughs> Don't oversell. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're selling yourself short, man. No, no. Uh, yeah, for sure. To be honest with you, I would say half my guests uh, will be will be halfway through the interview and they go, have we started yet? Did we? <laughs> that's a compliment. That's yeah, really? a compliment. That, that's really? how you know. Okay. The that's how you know the previous 30 minutes have been wonderful. <laughs> right on. <laughs>